Operational amplifiers or op amps are widely used within analog electronics for a variety of purposes. Everything from oscillators to differentiators, integrators and, and many more things. Not surprisingly they're also used as amplifiers, plain and simple. Op amp chips are available in many forms, both traditional leaded varieties as well as many surface mount types. The basic function of an operational amplifier is to provide gain. The signal at the input will be amplified and appear larger at the output. Typically the gain is measured as voltage gain and we can see that the voltage gain is equal to the output voltage divided by the input voltage. So we can see how many times larger the output voltage is compared to the input. When an operational amplifier is used to provide gain, normally it has negative feedback applied around it as shown in this generic diagram. The feedback provides a number of advantages including a defined level of gain, wider flat bandwidth, lower distortion and a number of other advantages as well. It's worth noting that when a signal is applied to the positive input, it appears at the output in the same phase. Any signal applied to the negative input is inverted as it passes to the output. Thus, feedback applied to the negative input is negative feedback and acts to reduce the level of amplification of the overall circuit. The generic gain equation is shown to give an idea of what the effect is. However, there are two basic forms of amplifier that are used. The first is the inverting amplifier, and the second type is the non-inverting amplifier. Let's look at the inverting amplifier first. The circuit is quite straightforward as we see here. It consists of one resistor from the output to the inverting input and another from the inverting input to the overall circuit input. A signal is applied to the input. It then appears at the output inverted, hence the name. The voltage gain for this circuit can be easily calculated as it is simply R2 upon R1 but notice the negative sign because it is an inverting amplifier. Let's take a look at a simple example of calculating the gain. Let's assume that R1 is a kilo ohm and R2 is 10k. Using the gain equation where AV equals R2 upon R1 we see that it is 10 upon 1 which gives us a gain of 10 or to be more exact it's minus 10. The other type of op-amp circuit is not surprisingly called the non-inverting amplifier. If we look at the input signal and then at the output we will see that the output is in the same phase as the input and it is not inverted, giving the name of the amplifier. The gain equation for this amplifier is slightly different as we see here but it's just as easy to calculate. Let's give it a go. Take the example again of R1 being 1K and R2 10K. We can place these figures into the equation and see that we have 1 plus 10 upon 1 and in this case we can see that it provides a voltage gain of 11, plus 11 to be exact. It's also interesting to apply this to the case where we have 100% feedback. R2 becomes 0, a short circuit, and R1 is open circuit. We have what is called a voltage follower. We can calculate the gain. It's simply 1 plus 0 ohms for the direct connection divided by open circuit or infinity. So this just becomes 1. So in summary we can see that the negative feedback controls the gain of the circuit. For an inverting amplifier the gain is minus R2 upon R1 and for a non-inverting amplifier the gain is 1 plus R2 upon R1. Thank you.